go far without seeing the name Polites. But Polites signs on shops and property developments all over town tell just part of the story of a man who started out with nothing and has now made many, many millions. Alison Peters decided to find out just a little more. Yeah, that's tight. That's a hard day's work for me. Oh! Yeah. Meet Constantine George Politis, developer, landlord, businessman, multi-millionaire. Con, this is the biggest desk I've ever seen. I'm glad you said that. You sure you need it this big? I do at times. Really, I do. But you don't have a computer or anything? No, I don't need computers. It's all in my head. Not quite the glamorous high-tech office you'd imagine for one of South Australia's richest men. But it's a long way from Port Piri where he grew up, the son of a poor Greek migrant. What he missed in high school education, he made up for with big dreams and hard work. When I was young and I used to ride a push bike in Port Piri, I couldn't afford a motor car. I was only 15 or 16. And somebody drove along in the car, I'd say, God, I'm going to have one of those cars one day. And did you? Oh, yeah, of course I did. His empire began with a deli, which he opened and managed when he was only 16 years old. It now includes four hotels, four motels, and countless office blocks, flats and houses. In fact, there aren't many places in Adelaide where you won't see his trademark blue and white sign. So I had to ask the obvious question. How do you get so rich? There's no shortcut to riches, forget about it. Money will follow if, you, if, you, if it's satisfaction that you get and you're a achiever, money will come. And of course with money comes lifestyle. A country house, this beach house, and lots and lots of cars. This is not our gallery, it's our garage. It's a rare glimpse into the mind, heart and home of this rich and happy man. This is the one that Mrs P drives. This is the Silver Spirit? Yeah. Now sit. Inside. You can't own it, but you'll have to sit in it. Yeah. I could get used to that. Yeah. But the biggest love Friday. of Con's life is his wife, Flo. Met her on Friday, proposed on a Saturday. And so married her when? Married about two months later. That was 49 years ago. What's the secret, Mrs. P? Patience. Patience. <laughs> yes. By the way, that's Rolls-Royce number two we're standing in front of. And there's Rolls number three. Numbers four, five and six are elsewhere today. And in the corner, a very rare 1958 Packard. If you come from a poor family, it's, uh, I think, within yourself, you try to achieve a greater success because you observe the tragedy uh, and the hardship that your parents go through. See you later. Heart bypass surgery has slowed him down a little. But while stairs present a problem, work doesn't. He still turns up at the office every single day. Morning, Margaret. And I enjoy being well, active and uh, being amongst people. Busy as usual. Right. And enjoy it every day. You just don't dream and say, I wish I had a Rolls Royce. I wish I had a yacht. Hey, get out there and do it. You've got to work for it. Nobody will give it to you. Con is also a generous man. Over the years, he's sold houses yeah, to people who don't even have a deposit. And if the person is sincere, he'll eventually pay you, somehow or other. And once, he even took a dozen chooks as a down payment for a television. I uh, chooks for the next week for dinner and breakfast. <laughs> and I can't eat chooks now. <laughs> but I got a sale. There's no doubt it's a good life. But what would he be doing if he had his time over again? I said the same thing. Would not change at all. And even the same wife, I said, how's that turn? Turn you on. No chooks, but plenty of Rolls Royces. Alison Peters there in Adelaide.